Hi, Final Cut Steph here, and I'm back with another rampant next-gen quick tip for Final Cut 10. In this fast tutorial, we're going to take a look at Rampant's 5K Bokeh and how to incorporate the Bokeh into your project using a blend mode. Now, if you're not familiar with Rampant's next-gen products, these elements are absolutely gorgeous. The elements were shot on a red Epic camera system. You know, that same camera used to shoot The Hobbit, Captain America, and Pacific Rim, and that's just a small few. So you know there is more clarity and awesomeness than you could ever imagine. And all the next-gen products come in three sizes, 5K, 4K, and 2K. Now I know, I know, you're still working in HD, right? Not a problem, because in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you why even 5K is so beneficial for us HD film folks. All right, no more talking. Let me open up Final Cut and show you how simple and easy it is to add rampant next-gen products to your timeline and amp up your production level by 500%. Now, you can see here that I've already loaded up my bokeh clips. There's a few of them. All right, and I've placed them in an event. Now, I only chose about seven for this tutorial, but there are actually 90 clips to choose from. Did you hear that? 90 clips. Boy, it doesn't get any better than that. All right, I've also gone ahead and created a project already. And I just wanted to show you the size over here that we are working in. And as you can see, we're actually working in a 1080 timeline. That's perfect, it's HD, that's where everybody's working. Great. Now let's get some footage in our timeline. We're gonna go over here to our stock event. I wanna add this clip to my, my timeline. There we go. And I'm gonna scroll this back. Now I've had a lot of people ask me, when and where is a good place to use Rampant? That's a great question, and the answer is very simple. I always like to think of Rampant as that little extra spice that you add after your edit is complete. Take this shot, for example. It's a great shot, but it could, could it use a little bit more, a little pop? I definitely think it could. That extra pop is where Rampant comes in perfectly. So let's go ahead and add that little pop to our footage using Rampant's 5K Bokeh product. To do that, I'm gonna go back to my Bokeh clips. And I'm going to choose this one, and I'm going to add it to my time my timeline. I'm going to connect it to this clip. Now you know you can press this. I like to just press Q. Q is the easiest. There we go. All right. And there's our clip. Let me rewind this. Now the very first thing I want to point out is the sizing. Final Cut 10 automatically scales down your clips to fit in your current timeline. You can see that right here. All right? Don't get upset. You're you're working at a 1080 timeline. This is supposed to be 5K footage. It really is 5K footage, but because uh, Final Cut does this automatic resize, and we have to change the size. It's very simple to do that. You click, simply click on your clip, come over here, and you go down to the Spatial Conform tab. From here, we're going to say None, and it's going to make our clip actually be the native size. All right? This is the actual 5K footage, so if I actually go back up here to Info and check out the size right here, see? That's the native 5K size. Perfect. Now, if I go back to my video, I want to show you exactly how much larger this 5K footage is. If I go to the scale, I want to scale it down. All right, there it is. And I'm actually going to scale it to exactly 40. So I'm going to type in 40 here. That's the actual scale down to HD. So our 5K footage is actually 60% larger than HD. This is where working in 5K is awesome. You have so much more latitude when it comes to scaling up or scaling down, and you never lose any of that awesome quality. Yeah, 5K may seem scary and super large, but once you start playing and realizing that those 90 clips that you bought from Rampant can now turn into 500 different clips, well, you'll never look at HD clips the same way again. Okay, now let's go back to our clip. Since we have our clip in our timeline with our bokeh, which I'm gonna select, Let's go ahead and change this blend mode. You can't see the, the, the original footage for this, and it's really easy to get that to show. So you click on your clip, go over here, you're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom to the compositing tab. From there, you're gonna select a blend mode. I like to do add, just like that, or you can do screen, which, like that. You can see it changes the way the light looks. I'm actually gonna keep it on add because I like the way the light pops, just like that, perfect. Now let's go ahead and play that and see just how much different our clip looks. Look at that, so pretty, that's nice. Love it, I think it's awesome. Okay, now I'm gonna stop that. Now since these elements were shot on the red and the quality is amazing, here's where you get to play. You can actually scale this up a bit. I kinda think those bokeh elements are a little too small and it's kinda taking away from her. 
So I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to go to my scale and I'm going to start playing with the scale. And if I take this to 100, which is the native size for uh, 5K, there we go. And I'm going to scroll that back and I'm going to play that. Oh, I think that's so much nicer. Oh, it's so great. Perfect. Now, that's fine, but because, like I said, this is shot on the red, you can actually scale this past 100% and still, you know, keep that quality that is found in the file. So you can actually do it that big and then play it. Then you've got some nice soft lights. Great. Now you can see why I was saying those 90 turn into 500 clips. The possibilities truly are endless. Absolutely amazing stuff. Now the very last thing I wanted to show is the ability to audition clips. Maybe you don't like the behavior of the bokeh and you want to try another clip. This is so easy in Final Cut and I love it. It's one of my favorite features. So to do that, you simply take your clips. Say I want to try this one. I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to drag it down here and you're going to see a little plus sign pop up. You're going to let it go and I'm going to say add to audition. Okay. And I'm going to do that for a couple more clips as well. All right. Now, if you'll notice down here, when you have a clips in your audition, there's a little spotlight. If you click on that spotlight, it's going to pop up all of the clips that you have right now for this space. Now, this isn't a plugin. These are just QuickTime movie files. So I'm actually going to have to go and change all the settings on these files. But that's not a big deal. It's so easy. So you could take that clip, highlight it, go over here. Remember, I don't want fit. I want none. And I'm going to change the blend mode to add. I'm going to do the same thing with the second clip. Or actually, it's the third clip. Go down to none and add. And then the very last one I have here in the audition, go over to none and add. There we go. Now, if I scroll back here to the very beginning, I can play all these clips and audition them and see which one looks the best. All right, I'm going to press spacebar and you're going to see the clip. And that's nice, we've seen that one. Let's check out the next one. By pressing the right arrow key, it switches automatically to the next clip so I can say, hmm, how is that one? Go to the next clip. Interesting. And the last clip. Ooh, that's nice. Some very soft glints at the end. Oh, I think I'm liking that pink one. It matches her skin tone and I think it's gonna, it's gonna fit really well. So I'm actually gonna cho choose the pink one. I'm gonna say done. And then I'm going to shift option Y to finalize this. You don't want to have your audition clips here when you go to render. So I'm gonna put shift option Y and it's gonna take that away. And now this clip is my new bokeh clip that to use over my footage. And there we go. It really doesn't get any easier than that. You simply drag a clip from to your timeline, change the sizing, and change the blend mode, and you're done. With Rampant, you and your productions cannot lose. So go check them out. Check out the Boca and the other awesome products at RampantDesignTools.com. Again, this is Final Cut Steph, and it's been a blast bringing you this Rampant Next Gen Quick Tip. If there are any questions or you just want to say hey, hit me up on Twitter at Final Cut Steph. Until next time, bye!